You mean from inside the gate, which... Oh, ew, it's Among Us. What's up, guys? It's Tyrannosaurus Tyrannus, Tyrannus. Welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In the last episode, we made it to Area Zero, the big crater in Paldia. And we're right in front of Sada's lab. Before I go on, guys, go on and shank that like button. 4K likes. We upload this again in a few hours. Sada has locked herself in with the dangerous Pokemon inside. And when I rewatched the last episode, she says dangerous Pokemon, but you don't know if that's plural. So... It almost sounds like she, tr some sort of last ditch effort happened and she tried to seal all the Pokemon that she brought from the past within this place here. And that's why there's all those locks. I don't know what happened to her team, but Clavel is still alive. Uh, where are these guys? Where the frick did my team go? What is that? Oh, the ancient Jigglies. The freaking Jigglypuffs look like uh, Mew. They look like Mew. Man, listen, we have a few theories going into this. Try using the panel. Okay, there. I was looking for Penny. Sada might be dead or might have gone to the past forever and left behind just her voice somewhere. This is my theory and I want to see it play out. Open the gate to the Zero Lab. Yes. You decided to press the button and open. Hold it. And where were y'all? Huh? Why? We're finally on the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we also have Coridon help? Hmm, that's true. Yeah, if Coridon were like how we first saw it in the Inlet Grotto, that'd be a huge help. I want to see it battle. Oh, but it hasn't even wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero. And it can't enter its battle form in the first place. But it's really strong, I know it is. It ate all those Herba Mystica we found too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring it out of its ball now, maybe it'll be able to find its family too, right? That's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. Hmm, I don't know. Go on, Thamo, let Coridon out. Fine. I'd usually say no. Hey, Cory. <laughs> it's freaking adorable. Alright, come on, Tamo. Now that you've got Karadin ready, it's time to open that gate. Karadin, I could have flown to the bottom if he was just not scared. Oh, hell no. Nah. Look at that security. Hey, sa The second one! It's your brother! But this one's fierce, right? This one fights? What the frick? It's in its battle form. The family reunion. It's happening. Whoa, no way. Uh, <laughs> stay away. That's the Pokemon that scarred me. No, something's not right. That's the thing that traumatized me. Go get him, Sada. F, F this right on. What a piece of crap. Hello? Are you freaking... My poor Coridon, bro. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's so sad. They said the other Coridon was fierce. I'm sorry, bro. Frick. Yans. Huh, what's wrong? Are you bummed that your heartwarming family reunion got cut off so quickly? Are you joking? <laughs> There's nothing heartwarming about it. You were this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? Just look at Karada and poor thing's terrified. Guess that other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, that other Pokemon was giving off some real bad vibes. What the heck? Uh, not that you should worry a thing about any of that. Once we get you back into your battle form, I'm sure you'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe against that jerk. That's right. If, you know, if you want to. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I guess that doesn't really help, huh? Do you think that other Karadon was one of the dangerous Pokemon the professor warned us to watch out for? But didn't the professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come up from inside? That sucker went inside! You mean from inside the gate, which... Oh, ew, it's Among Us! Hey, um, guys... One at a time, please. Single file. 
One of them just bent the rail. What the? Hey, now this isn't fair. We're surrounded. And it's pretty obvious they're not here to roll out a friendly welcome mat. There's no way we can handle this many. And don't tell me, they're all ancient Pokemon? We've got a little disaster on our hands here. Go right on. Look, even that fellow's ready to bail. <laughs> then I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, Thelma, let's do this together. This is her dream. She wanna fight these. So guys, you know. That's the freaking Amoongus, by the way. What's its name? Uh, are we gonna take them all one at a time? Are there multiple? Tuscus and Lycanroc. Okay, great tusk. I can't catch it, can I? So a couple things you know i was you know re-looking at the details of the last episode so it's like this sada sada's crazy sada actually made it to the base of this after 200 years since heath did it and she didn't like she didn't try to get famous off it she kept it a secret she studied terrestrializing made the orbs and that's what she got known for but she, she already fixed the time machine and pulled Koridon out of the past. And she then just lived on the surface in that lab with her son and Koridon. That was the three of them. If you're paying attention to the last episode, you probably already know all this. But I didn't, I didn't realize this properly. Well, I'll tell you the rest in it. It's like, I guess. I didn't realize they lived on the surface and she was completely normal then. Wow, they're strong now. This is a worthwhile challenge. <laughs> I'm glad you're on your side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. What the frick is gas bass? Ew, man. Yeah, why are they coming at me? Damn, well, help me out here. Freaking help yourself out. Yo, if this was ancient times, why do they look like Pokeballs? <laughs> Yo. Yo. You know this could imply that we've gone full circle. Ew, Brute Bonnet? Maybe we already freaking invented stuff and went back to the beginning. So, one day, Koridon, because it's a, pra a primal Pokemon, it started attacking the wild Pokemon, even though Sada wanted it to be a secret. So then Sada had to quickly... Uh, what the hell? It didn't do any damage? So Sada took Koridon back to the crater, and that's the last Arvin sees her. And so he says that he feels like Koridon's the reason that he lost his mom, that she went here. And then he says that his mom still checked in on him, sent him emails and stuff. And then a few years ago, just silence, no more emails, didn't even hear her voice again or anything. That makes me think that at that moment, something bad happened. And then also, once she went back into the crater, then she started experimenting more. She pulled out a second Koridon, I think. I think that's how it, the timeline goes. Then she just pulled out all these things and she slowly went crazy, it seems. Why? What the frick is this thing's typing? Is it a dragon? You had a, you have like a dragon tail if you see that. Look at its tail. Yeah. What the heck? Why does it look like a Pokeball? That makes no sense. There's no reason it should look like a Pokeball. Then, it says that it- I guess I missed overheat. Then it says that she wanted to do so much that she somehow got this assistant that rivals her capabilities. I feel like she cloned her mind or something. And then we have the freaking uh, weird outburst she had where her voice was glitching. God, the ancient past must have been terrifying. Yeah, scare him off! Look, he's using his hockey again. Oh no, they're running away. <laughs> yeah, and... If those Pokemon get out, we're gonna have a gigantic mess in our hands. We gotta go after him, Penny. Why me? Oh, that's true. Wait, haha. <laughs> gotta hold on, Nimona. And why do I get the feeling you're enjoying all this? That's good, Arvin. They're gone. Hope the two of them can handle their part. But at least the crowd's been thinned out now. Guess it's up to us to deal with what's left. Let's go for this strong-looking one first. Yeah, we can't let them go to the surface. Which, I don't know how they would make it to the surface. How did that freaking Dawn fan get up there? Hey, We still haven't met the Pokemon that... Oh yeah, this thing's Fairy Ghost. 
We still haven't met the Pokemon that Mabasta was injured by. But yeah, this is all crazy. Shisada says that once we go up there, something like everything will make sense once you see the situation. So... I imagine everything's kind of wrecked in there. Yo, my starter's level 70. See, the power of friendship had us perfectly in sync, and thanks to our titan hunting together. <laughs> Still scared, huh? You worry you might have to face that other one of your kind? Well then, let me take on some of the burden. These stragglers should be nothing. Me and my boss here can take them. I'm not going in alone, so Tamu, you take your partner and go take care of business. Why would I go in there? But... Oh, come on. If you're not even going to rely on your friends, then who are you going to rely on? My boss is raring to go. Leave this to us. Don't you freaking die, my boss stiff. Coridon. You really ruined my whole childhood, you know? But it's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You've got amazing powers. If you just use them. And you've got us too, so... So... So don't you even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave, stand up and fight. Damn, bro. You know, that Coridon's the demon on my book. There's no way it's my dog here. He probably... Whoa. Where's my Coridon? Wait, hold on. I can't, still can't ride him. He probably just wanted to play and he actually like bit a wild Pokemon or something. Ah. Uh, I wanted to go into my friends, bro. This is the... I can't believe that Coridon went in here. Ah. Uh, this is insane. She's dead! What? Human presence detected within the Zero Lab. Why are you sitting like that when you're talking? Look, right at Sada. Um, I'm sorry? What the- I'm freaking freaked out. I told you! They called me crazy! They called me stupid! She's a robot! She made herself a cyborg. Something. Deactivating sleep mode. She went to the past. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. This is a freaking robot. Hello, Thamu. Thank you for coming. It's you! Piece of crap. No. Back to your ball. Master ball? Robot trainer with master ball? That was yours? That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your Karadon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. <laughs> I'm only laughing because I remember the opening scene where Karada just peacefully flying away. <laughs> I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Sada. Bro, I can't believe I was right. Oh my goodness. When I'm editing the episode, I feel like I'm so stupid. I just want to cut it all out. But I was right. Um, then who are you? I am an artificial intelligence the Professor created, imbued with her memories and knowledge. In short, I'm an AI-powered robot. The real Professor... Passed away during the incident that destroyed Research Station 4, the one that was collapsed. This is why she stopped sending Arvin messages. She died. The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more for the Coridon to survive and thrive. That is why she threw herself in front of your Coridon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Damo, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. Uh, I didn't properly read that dialogue. I'm not sure what she said there. 
What did she even say there? Um, yeah, she said the professor to... So she sacrificed herself. Maybe... The incident that destroyed... We don't know when that incident was. But if we were to just choose a random incident, maybe the territorial struggle... She helped save our Coridon's life and died. I don't know. I've never been more freaked out than to see a human person sitting like that and then talking. This was her freaking assistant that she made. This girl's a freaking genius. What are these? She's got the freaking crystals. Is that what? See, so a part of me... No, I'm not even going to say it. This is insane. Who, who is this? An item to be held by Pokemon with certain abilities. Okay, then I won't read it. What were in these? You can see strange rock-like clump of something inside this machine. What, she tried to create artificial crystals? <laughs> this elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. I thought it said Al Sada all this time. It says AI Sada. <laughs> like El Salvador or something. But with an A. That is very... It truly is a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? What is an AI really? So when she said, Arvin, I've been trying to get a hold of you. This was just the remaining AI that had no way to reach uh, Arvin. Um, what is an AI? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. She's powered by them. Is there anything? Whoa. This is wild. Uh, what happened to the real professor? Okay. As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, her physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I'm afraid that this fact may be difficult for her son Arvin to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Where did you get the Master Ball from? And it's in its battle form. It's a full... It's like a level 100 Crydon. What is this time machine? The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point. Oh! On the timeline to catch Pokemon there. And it can then draw them back here to the present. When she was alive, Professor Sada had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age. What you might call ancient Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw ancient Pokemon to this time. It, it's automatic. It's automated. What is it you really want? The original professor had a dream of a world in which ancient Pokemon might live alongside present-day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon's powers seem to stem from a primal energy of the ancient past, and this energy is proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the e ecological balance of this modern age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the ancient Pokemon from escaping it into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Great Tusk. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet... I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original professor ever devised. So she can't destroy it herself, Damo. 
you've become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Sada once cherished. I would say no too. No. This task cannot be done without your strength. Please, I beg you. I... We have reached the lowest level. Her wearing those clothes. You see how infatuated she is with the freaking past Pokemon? What if she's from the future? I don't think they'll ever reveal it. What? Look at all this energy. Whoa! It's a time machine. You genius. Dude. This is ultra terrestrialized. Are you kidding me? Behold. This is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. Yo, she was programmed? So she's just been wandering for... Let's, I feel like she died a few years ago, right? So it wasn't during the incident that Karadon came up. It was a few years ago. For all those few years, she's just been roaming up and down and probably still fulfilling what Sada wanted. Because I don't think she can overwrite that. She's still been freeing ancient Pokemon. Do you know what one can do with all this energy? Why can't I ride Koridon? Why do you have a Koridon? You're a freaking robot. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Scarlet Book. What, that name she wrote? It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. She loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There is just one issue. <laughs> If you try to stop the time machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine, bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Paldia region. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. You're also a champion too. Once you have readied yourself for this fight, please place that Scarlet Book upon the pedestal. This is so cool. So I thought she had, I thought maybe this robot could betray us, but nah, she's the real deal. She's even warning us that she, she, she's gonna have to attack us. Which way did I come in? So Sada said, if if mans die, then so be it. And she kind of stayed true to that. She died because of this. This is my team, guys. My starter just hit level 72. So, I will lead with Tusk. And... <laughs> Let's fight Sada. What is her team going to be? Will you place the Scarlet Book on the pedestal? Yeah. ID confirmed. Professor Sada, access grind. Initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait, please wait. Stay away from me. Access denied. Shutdown command overridden. <laughs> Reinitializing! It's up to you now, Damo. AI SWAT is switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. Defeat me. At, at last. At last, my dream is within reach. She just caught another Pokemon. And you're not getting in my way. What did you just catch? She said Master Balls? Villain boss ever? Are you kidding me? Who the freak's calling me at a time like this? Oh my god, AI Sad has initiated a battle. Let's go, lady. 
What the frick did you just catch? I slither wind. Stop catching these things. Oh, I'm fighting a freaking. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals. Um, you, I have a, please wait a minute. What did I just use? That's what I meant to use. Hi, hi, I mean, why? Aren't you a... Okay. This is the power of the ancient past. Splendid, isn't it? It is very splendid. Why do I feel like... I feel like... That means Sada's freaking evil. All she's doing is taking her place. If Sada survived to heal, she would be freaking stopping me right now. She don't care. Do you imagine that you can best the wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain? Just this calculator critical hit to your Pokemon. It's time you simply gave up, child. What? This lady is a genius. I have a weird theory, guys. I have a really weird theory. I don't think she's from the past or the future. I don't think Turo's from the past or the future. I feel like it's possible that Arvin's dad is Turo, even in this game. And depending on which game you play, both are geniuses. Either Sada leaves or Turo leaves. And one's in fashion with the future and one of the past. One brings in Maridon. One brings in Coridon and the ancient Pokemon. I feel like Arvin's dad still is Turo. Not that we'll meet him in this game. This lady is so cool. Ancient Volcarona, huh? Okay. She's gonna have six ancient Pokemon. Now, this is interesting. Chow, do you actually understand ancient Pokemon's weaknesses? I don't. I cheated. I didn't know that was super effective. Bonnet. I don't know which one this is. Brute Bonnet? I'm freaking... I'll, I'm setting up. I'm just gonna sweep you. She really has to look so down upon me. Yo, can she beat Gita? I think she can. Her dad has analyzed all the champions. She, her human self was a champion themselves. Sandy Shocks! It's Magneton! <laughs> oh! Magneton, try and stop me. I'm the greatest champion. She's been spamming mass. Oh my goodness! What the frick did Magnetons become when they looked so cool back then? Can I get a look at it, please? Yo. It's legit dinosaur era vibes. Even the freaking marking above its eye. Just, just, just stupidly savage creatures. You dead, you can't even scratch me. You can't even kill me, I meant to say. Huh? Oh, normal effective. Oh, what are you, normal rock? That is, that is far superior to Magnezone. I'm falling to the hype. I don't care. I'm level 71. Flutter main. Who this again? Who this again? This is mischievous. Yo, could you imagine living your life and a, po a master ball appears out of nowhere, steals you and kidnaps you uh, 379,000 years in the future? I've swept her. You stand no chance for my start. Wait, what? You went first? I'm, uh... <laughs> I don't know what I'm feeling right now. This is just really cool. This is just really, really cool. That whole sequence was... Oh, man. That whole sequence was really cool, man. Okay, Rage Fist. You're faster than me. I survived this, then I hit you twice as strong. Okay, you die. You die, you fairy. Look, I am high. Eternally. This is very sad to Arvin, but now that if I break this machine, Screamtail, if I break this machine, 
maybe Arvin can live with his mom's memories. You know? The robot is... Oh, she can't leave this place. Whoa, this is very sad. All this happened because Karainen attacked the wild Pokemon. Who do we freaking blame? Who do we freaking blame? Kasada is happy living as a three family piece. Karida and Arvin, her. She didn't even care about the dad. Okay, I, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Her last Pokemon's Karida. It's gonna be level what? 68? Jeez. Oh no. What? Stupid Scream Tail. Um, Gigaton Hammer. I'm gonna use. Uh, play rough so I can save Giga Ten Hammer for Karidon. Because I can't use it twice in a row. Are you kidding me? Just freaking land it. Come on, lady. Scream Tail. So no one has named these Pokemon yet. What the Are you stupid? If you open these doors, the Pokemon will be free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she's just been catching them. I wonder what Pokemon she just caught now. Probably that freaking, uh, Lock Volcarona. Okay, bring in your Coridon. What experience? Roaring Moon? Who the frick is that? Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon, okay, frick. I'll bring up my dragon. Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon. Everything is proceeding within expectations. I'm afraid the probability of you winning is zero. Why? What the, what's so great about Roaring Moon? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! This sucker looks permanently mega! Protosynthesis! Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> Roaring Moon! That is a savage! Savage! Salamence! I ain't even gonna feel that! Have I blacked out? If you lived in ancient times, I'd never want to see that flying over my head. I lost! <laughs> I can beat it. I can beat it. Dunty can beat it. Uh, Dragon Rush. Come on. I can take these. I can take these. Yes, yes, yes. I just have to kill you with two Dragon Rushes. Uh, it's over. It's over. Unless I miss Dragon Rush, I actually beat her. Or you get a crit. Did I freaking really just survive? That one HP made me win. My other two Pokemon are too slow. It'll kill me. Roaring Moon. I defeated A.I. Sada. Impossible. Are you okay, lady? I'm so sad you're trapped down here. I deactivated it. Whoa, what happened to all the crystals? Demo. It's your mommy. What is this? Did you already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you really? Th thank you for everything. The time machine has finally... She has finally been stopped. You're really not my mom, are you? Oh, look how big you've grown. It's bleeding. So proud of you, my... Sorry, you were alone so long. Our... Mom? Security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. Threat to time machine detected. Whoa, whoa, what's going on right now? Is another army Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be. Yo, the real one was bleeding through and talking to him. 
and obstacles preventing the time machine from forming as intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle! I'm not an obstacle, you freak! What? Was she keeping the time machine running truly? Wait, was keeping the time machine all she truly cared about? Locking all Pokeballs, except those registered to Sada! Wait, what? Program initializing, gathering terrestrial energy! I'm sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. AI SATA disabled. Paradise Proto Protection Protocol initiated. What are y'all trying to do to me? Hell nah! You can't terrestrialize her! You are not getting in my way. Why? Don't sense my screen! You don't you sense my screen ever! Don't you glitch my game! Oh no! Oh, it says Paradise Protection Protocol. You blocked my balls! I can't- I'm gonna get snuffed out! <laughs> Coridon, Guardian of the Paradise. Let's go! Let's go! Um... <laughs> ah, you can't battle with a Pokemon on the field! This luck ain't gonna let me run! It's true, our Pokeballs won't work. How are we even supposed to battle? Running the way will put everyone else in danger. I'm in danger! Yeah, some crazy electrical signals jamming our Pokeballs. Even I can't get them open. What are you useful for? Your Pokeballs are locked. You can't use that item. That's totally cheating. And you call yourself an adult? Dude! You're registered to her?! You are! <laughs> yes! No way she won! She would have won a f Hey yo get beat the sucker up! Oh no, it's it's little Karidon. You this time. I'm probably lower level than you. I don't care. Oricalcum Pulse? The opposing sunlight turned harsh, sending a bastion in sunlight, sending the ancient pole into frenzy. I'm level 68? Collision course. The user transforms and crashes to the ground, causing a massive prehistoric explosion. The move is boosted more than usual if it's a super effective hit. Can I terrestrialize? I can't. Okay, let's use this. He's taunting me! Like a real sucker! Yo, I hate this Coridon here! Yo, Sada is a genius! I'm only winning because of a loophole! It changed into its battle from Let's Go Coridon, you got this! I'm only winning because this is her Pokeball! Or Arv- it is her Pokeball! That's insane! You will fall here within this Garden Paradise and achieve nothing in the end! Oh my goodness, you have to have all these different moves? I need to terrestrialize. Oh. Okay, you know what? Terra Blast. Nah. Nah, what? I have to use this. Terra Blast. I have to use it. Unless I burn you. This is what I have to keep using. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles to my goal will be eliminated. Wait a minute, bro. Ah, uh, Collision course. 
no wonder it freak it was it's been this karadon has been waiting for someone to open the doors Dude, this looks could be bad oh hang in there tamo i'm gonna lose bro check status you're level 72 i'm fighting dragon <laughs> i don't have any dragon moves but and i can't if i could terrestrialize i could terra blast how much would flamethrower do since it's harsh sunlight? Let me try this. The data says I'm the superior. Fallen becomes a foundation upon which my dream may be built. You toughened it out? No one's ever done that. Burn it, man! I have to be able to terrestrialize, bro. You took that hit like a champ. You can do this. I know you can. Yo, it's cause he's the top dog. I'm. Uh, that's why I need everyone's help. You have to recharge. I can't beat it. I can't beat it unless I still take the next attack. Oh my! Can we really not pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. Hey, hey, Damo, you, your terror orb. Yes, let me terror blast the sucker. Double dragon. Damn, I'll cry and trust me to finish this off. Oh, it's it's over for you. It's freaking over. It's over. My stats all went up. Hey, I could use the wrong move and lose here. Terror Blast. F that. Sucker out of here, bro. Finally. Man thinks he's the alpha. You defeated the Paratize Protection Protocol. You did it. It's... it's not going berserk anymore? How... how very astounding. To think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes. A completely unforeseen outcome. Even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness. Showing the wisdom to think for yourself. The courage to hold faith in your friends and the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how difficult your own past may have been, I believe you will be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now with pride. I thank you, Thamo. I thank all you children. But I am afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. Huh? W what does that mean? I'm sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied you, your freedom. The way you came together, working in league with your fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength and to better yourself, throwing all you are into your battles. The way you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way that you never ceased to seek nor to fight for a treasure all your own. Ah, and the way that you soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I too might be as free as you all. Free to seek out that which I might treasure above all else. Not bound your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am inextricably connected to it. So I've made a decision. I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the ancient past that I've dreamed of. 
You can't just leave now. Right when we finally reached you. I'm not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that ancient world for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure? Arvin, I'm sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and so I understand better than any. Your mother truly loved you. You, you can't. You can't just go and say a thing like that now. No, I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. Arvin cried on Thamo. It is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Farewell, my free adventures. I bid you adieu. Look at the smile on her face. Now the time machine won't work anymore. How could you just go? Mom. Arvin, you okay bud? Yeah, somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake, but it... When it said my name using her voice and wearing her face, even if it was fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just... I... Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. That's... that's okay. I guess cried and a sad too. Oh, but that battle from how cool is that? It's so strong. If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm gonna die. Hey now, let's not skip over the big win here. Thamel and Crydon just saved all of Paldia. That's right, you both did amazing. Thanks, Thamel. Yeah, that's my butt Thamel for you. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor's gone, I bet she's finally having a real fun adventure of her own in the past. Yeah, thanks, Penny. Um, yeah, sorry. What should we do now, Thamo? Thanks for the options. You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's get out of here and make our way home. She got her treasure in the end. She was stuck here for years. Now she can just roam. In a world where that energy is everywhere. So she doesn't even have to be bounded. You need to rely on a certain place to get it. Okay, everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take the long road home and get a little more fun out of this adventure. I don't really... Sounds great. If we can load up on snacks first, I'm in. So we're all friends now. Hey, Tamo, not you too. Just join us. <laughs> Oh man. Alright, fine, I guess we're doing this. Look at us five. Episode 20, huh? We beat the game. I don't know if this is copyrighted. Is, who is this? This was really good. This was really, really good. The theme of treasure, even the freaking conclusion.
Stop it, stop it. Stop. Thank you, treasure friends. Ding dong, ding dong. Calling students to the director's office. Master Thelma, Miss Demona, Master Arvin, Miss Penny. Director Cloud want to see me. Mm. Thank you for the fun game, Game Freak. I'm gonna call the quits here, guys. Go on and shank that like button. That is the end. Shank it if that ending got you. Thank you for watching this series with me, guys. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.